One of the most popular topics among cloud users is how to save money on their cloud bills. It makes governance much simpler when IT is rid of repetitive and time-intensive tasks that can be automated. With an effective rules engine, automation can help curb extra spending and consumption, and also optimize the use of resources by shutting down workloads when they are not required. In this video, I am going to show how you can optimize cloud cost by managing your cloud resources using automated policies. We can configure the policies for instance, volume and usage category which helps to save our cost. These policies can be configured for once, daily, weekly, monthly recurrence, etc. Automated actions can be performed, for stopping and starting the VMs, for resizing the VMs, for creating images in order to take the backup of base VM, for deleting unused volumes greater than a predefined number of days, for creating volume snapshots. Automated alerts will be sent to the admin, when usage for a cloud provider account, like AWS, reaches a certain amount. When usage for cloud product, like AWS EC2, touches a predefined cost, when volumes remain unused or not attached to any instance for a certain number of days. To fully optimize cloud spend, you must scale down workloads when demand falls and turn instances off that are no longer being used. Production instances should be auto scaled to meet demand, shutting down development and test instances in the evenings and on weekends when developers are no longer working can save 65% or more of costs and instances for training, demos, and development must be terminated once projects are completed. This process can be automated using the calendar-based policy to minimize the cloud cost. This policy works for the resources created within the platform or imported into the Jamcracker platform. Here I have configured the policy to shut down the VM's MS at 8 p.m. on Friday and restart the VM's at 8 a.m. on Monday. A policy will trigger every week based on time and resource tags and when it trigger instances status will change accordingly. I am going to show the scheduled policy for resize action. On an average, customers are wasting 5 to 25% of their cost on resources they no longer need. This happens when users provision a larger VM than required or do not utilize the VM to the optimal extent. This result business spending on unused cloud resources like VMs, databases, load balancers and networks as can be seen from the recommendations dashboard, while admins are expected to review and take actions to optimize costs manually, use the policy to build rules that automatically resize. On average, underutilized VMs comprise more than 25% of instance spend, so I am going to show you can automatically resize the VM based on specific recurrence pattern. Resize action will perform on the VM based on resource tags for the date and time defined in the policy. I will show you how to automate a process that will find the unutilized volumes and delete them. One of the key cloud storage offerings on Amazon Web Services is the EBS volume. EBS offers persistent storage, and each EBS volume comes with a delete on termination flag that, if marked false, will not delete the volume on instance termination. Quite often, users terminate the VM without terminating the attached additional volumes. We found that unused cloud storage including unattached volumes and old snapshots, represented almost 10% of cloud spend. So if the volume is unused and not associated to any VMs for a predefined period then configure a policy to send unused volume alert to take required action. I have configured the policy to send unused volume alert and delete unused volumes. Example, when volume is unused for 1 to 10 days then unused volume alert will be sent to admin. When volume is unused for 11 days then unused volumes gets deleted which saves cost. There are customizable emails that can be configured when performing automated actions. Email templates for policies can be customized for the content. Example, I have defined calendar policy for delete unused volume and send email notification. Here when volume is unused for defined period then unused volumes gets deleted and also email notifications will be sent to the admin. The usage policy can be configured to alert the user if the usage amount exceeds a predefined limit for particular providers, so the admin can stop or terminate the resources. An email will be sent based on cloud product level or provider account level. Example for cloud product level usage. 
policy is configured for AWS provider and Amazon EC2 resource and sample threshold is given as $1. When usage amount exceeds the usage cost threshold for Amazon EC2 resource, then an email will be sent to alert the admin every day at the defined time. It can be configured for provider account level usage as well. Policy can be configured to alert the admin when the number of virtual machines launched exceeds a predefined limit. Example Admin has to find the policy with seat policy count as 5 but number of launched VMs are 6. In that case, an alert will be sent to the admin for necessary action. Thus, we can govern the resources by taking necessary actions to control the cost that is charged by the respective vendors. For more information, please visit our website www.jamcracker.com. Thank you.